Some commercial banks have begun reintroducing charges on foreign exchange accounts after they suspended these fees under regulatory pressure. But what has accounted for this reintroduction? We have more in the following news desk report. Some of these banks have already communicated a decision via text message and email informing clients that the new charges have been effected. The fees will vary based on currency type and account balance with some charges reaching up to $20. What CNR Business has gathered is that some dollar account holders have been charged a $5 fee for balances exceeding $100. These reintroduced charges are in addition to the existing 3% charge on withdrawals. It will be recalled that two months ago, some commercial banks began processes to close their personal foreign currency savings account, asking clients with such accounts to hold their foreign currencies in e-wallets current accounts. But the Ghana Association of Banks said that was untrue. These moves by the banks have been driven by the Bank of Ghana's recent decision to increase the cash reserve ratio, which now mandates banks to hold a higher portion of foreign exchange reserves in cities. This regulatory directive by the central bank has imposed significant costs on banks who have no option but to charge some of these expenses funds of depositors. It is clear that this development is causing dissatisfaction among account holders, with some reconsidering their decision to maintain their foreign currency accounts. However, banks are urging customers to remain patient while they engage stakeholders to find the way forward. Efforts to get a response from the Ghana Association of Banks have so far been unsuccessful. For CNR Business, my name is Daniel Odro Mensah.